Oh, hi everybody, Eric West here, HawaiiRealEstate.org. You won't believe it, this is Kapalua Bay. It is blowing up. It's unbelievable. Seriously, one of the biggest swells I've seen in a long time. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eric West. I'm all about teaching you everything there is to know about Hawaii and its real estate and how to properly wear a Hurley hat so it just lines up just perfectly. So anyway, in all seriousness, I am a I guess I'm turning into a vlogger? I don't know, that sounds kind of weird, but uh, I have been bringing you the Maui fix, as we call it, every single day almost. Lately I've been a little, a little busy actually, but I wanted to bring you this beautiful sunset as it unfolds and to show you some of these obnoxious waves. Because they are, they're just obnoxious. I mean, they're obnoxiously huge. And uh, you can tell there's no one even out there surfing. Now there are some surfers out, don't get me wrong. Just not in this spot, but it's unusual to have a the swell that closes out into Pelee Bay, which I just came from, which is next door. But how beautiful is that right there, huh? Thumbs up, share, like, and subscribe. If you need some Maui, with all the stuff going on in the world right now, I don't know about you, I live here and I need some Maui. Just listening to all the stuff going on in the world, it's like, oh, time for your Maui fix, people. So. No politics, no controversy, just sheer beauty and the peace that only Hawaii can bring you. Unless you were surfing right there right now, you would not be in a state of peace. You'd be in a state of either extreme bliss or terror, depending on your skill level. Look at the one coming in behind it. Now, Kelly Slater, man, he could shred these all day long, right? This would be like his little playground. But it's pretty, uh, it's pretty weird right now, I'll be honest with you. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful swell. It's one of the reasons we love Hawaii, right? Because in the wintertime, while the rest of you guys are, you know, let's just face it, you're kind of freezing your butts off. We're down here getting barreled. Look at it. Now, it probably looks kind of small on your screen right now, but I'm just telling you, this is a big swell right now. Just exploding. When I used to live in Colorado, I was like, every year, you know, so winter would be coming and then winter would be here and I'd be like, oh man, how many more months until it's over? Complete opposite in Hawaii. In Hawaii, I'm like, winter's finally here. How much longer will it last? I hope it lasts forever because this is when the waves come. This is when the weather is kind of a little bit cooler, I'll be honest with you. Hawaii in the summer is a little bit, you know, she's a little toasty. But in the wintertime, it is just perfection. Look at that, huh? What am I looking at? Where am I uh, at right now? Well, of course, I'm looking right at the island of Lanai. And of course, over here is the beautiful Merriman's to my left, right there. Little, little Merriman's right there. People having some dinner and cocktails as we speak. And uh, right behind me is the montage. Well, I guess technically right behind me would be the condominium known as Coconut Grove, which is one of the most high-end complexes on the island. No vacation rentals allowed, so a true vacation, I mean, it's a true second home complex, if you will. Should we just get right down in that water for a second, huh? I don't know about you, there's just something about the ocean that just soothes my brain. Huh? Uh, the sound of little bubbles. So as always guys, very interactive channel, at least that's my goal. If there's something you want to shout out about this area, write it in the comments section if you've stayed it somewhere in the, say, Kapalua Bay Villas, or maybe you're an owner there and you want to say, hey, stay in my unit. Give us the unit name and number and where we can find it and point the viewers to a smoking place to stay. Of course, if I was promoting local small businesses because with the COVID crisis, you know, everyone's been kind of working hard to get back to normal, especially our small business owners. To me, a condominium on Maui is essentially a small business owned by a wonderful participant in our economy, in our tax base, and a 
Oh, that's pretty, huh? Hotels, in my opinion, furloughed their people too quickly, and you know what? They just kind of they just kind of jumped out of the out of support mode and went right to saving profit mode. So the hotels will be fine, but do me a favor and book your next vacation here with an Airbnb or a VRBO. There's a click right there. Can we just click that? Click. Just stormy, right? Normally you have to understand, guys, this bay is completely calm. Like, you could snorkel in this thing all day long and never even feel a ripple. I've never seen beach break on top of a bay, man. It's nuts. And over here, we've got a little Karen Hall going on. Right, Karen? A little drama? Check it out. Yes, sir. Gorgeous. Of course, I have my one wheel poised and ready for go. Look at this beautiful scene right here, right? Something right out of a movie. Nice little evening jog. Just some beautiful color here, look at that. Mm. One of the nice things about this area, if you will, if you stay here, you've got access to so much good beach. You've got Kapalua Bay, obviously. You have Napili Bay right next door. So Napili Bay is just on the other side, that way. And then you have Ironwoods, which is just a short little walk to the north. And of course, beyond that, you've got DT Fleming. So really four very diverse beach choices, all within walking distance. There's that uh, coconut grove I was telling you guys about right there. Hi, Ann. Big big box, but hey, if you can do it, it doesn't get any better than having an oceanfront condo right here at Kapalua Bay. And you can see how high the tide's been. Look at all this sand that's come in. Crazy, right? All covering the sidewalk. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Maybe I have. I didn't notice, but let's go for a quick cruise. Here's my little buddy. Yeah, check it out. This is my guy. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Land surf. I was actually going to go surf last night. I mean, tonight, but it was a little too, uh, a little too crazy. I did surf yesterday, so I will admit, instead of doing a live, I was out riding some nice little overhead sets. Keep that sunset in your in your forefront as I negotiate the debris field. Pretty cool video there, huh? For those of you considering coming to Maui, I'd encourage it. Life is, I'd say, 10 times more normal here than what you're gonna find in any town on the West Coast. Aloha. Point in case here, notice the mask compliance. Pretty chill once you get to the water. You know what, there's not the mass police running around like, hey! You know, you're on the beach, it's pretty understood that if you're at the beach, it's okay. With your family that you've been with all day long, you know, it's okay. So it cracks me up, you go to a restaurant, so once you sit down, you can take your mask off. But before that, it was like a crime. But once I sit down and I'm eating, Huh. All right. Okay. Or like in the airport, you have to have your mask on when you're in the airport. As soon as you get on the airplane, though, you're packed in like sardines. All right. It's not logical, but we're good people, right? All right, guys. Here we come up to Cliff House. Right now, I'm right in front of the Montage. Check it out. Your five-star accommodation right there. I'm going to thread the needle right here. Aloha, guys. In my opinion, probably the uh, best five-star resort on Maui. Of course, it competes with the Ritz and the Andaz. And, uh, what's
that's the other one there down in Wailea. Help me out, people. You know, the one with the nice pool and the Four Seasons, but I don't know. For me personally, the montage kind of takes the cake. I don't know, it's just my opinion. I've been to all of them, obviously. They're all great, but montage holds a special place in my heart. I think it's that view when you first walk through the lobby and all this is just blowing up in front of you. Having the uh, cliff house over here where you can do an event. I mean, imagine you get married and then you have your first meal right there in that cliff house, huh? There's just something truly spectacular, world-class about this particular setting, this particular area. To me, just kind of takes the cake over Wailea four-star hotel zone. Let's take a peek over here where the uh, cliff house is. This is where a lot of the jumps are, so if you come here with a kid and you want to do a little jumping into the ocean, this is, what? <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my gosh, is that dude like trapped right there? Look at this guy. That's nuts. I've never seen waves coming over that whole thing before. That's crazy. Wow. And this guy is just playing crazy to do that. Not recommended behavior. Can you believe it? All right, buddy, big set coming. Big set, I'm telling you, big set coming. You can't see it on the camera, but I can see it. Let's hope he makes it. Gonna hit here in just a second. Wait for it. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's a big one. See that? Oh, it's crazy. Wow. I'm telling you guys are getting a really good life today. I've lived through almost 10 years. I don't think I've ever seen this level of wave action in these two bays right here. That's nuts. So, just so you guys know, whenever you go in Hawaii to the rocks and they're wet and there's big waves, big surf coming in, do not do what that guy just did. Because a lot of people get swept into the ocean and they die. Because once you get in that little wash machine right there, man, it's, it's not fun. But they're having a nice time there. They picked a nice little safe spot now. The key is it's not wet. So anyway, this whole area here is normally very, very calm. Matter of fact, if your kids go down there and snorkel or uh, jump on those rocks, you can snorkel in this whole bay. And it's a great spot to snorkel, tons of fish. Not many people do it, but normally, trust me guys, it looks nothing like this. So that's a one of a kind situation. All right, should we continue on? I have not gotten my fill of riding the one wheel yet, so we gotta keep going. Such a romantic place to be, isn't it? All right, guys, so here I am cruising at the montage. As you can tell, the darkness falls quickly in Hawaii. Let's sneak by here. But I want you to see how fast you can get from this spot to the next beach. So if you're staying at the montage or if you're staying in Kapalua Bay Villas, all of this is very, very walkable. In one morning, you could literally hit all these beaches with a cup of coffee and, uh, and have a great exercise experience. What? Just had the biggest drop on my one wheel. And this, of course, is where the, uh, the uh, nature walk is or I forget what they call it here I'll show you here in just a moment sort of here's part of the trailhead right here and you would go right down there to that trail and you can hit all of those bird nesting areas that's exactly the trailhead you would take to get to Cliff House where I just showed you 
Just follow that trail and you'll end up at Cliff House. But check this out, if you're staying in Kapalua Bay Villas, which is hands down one of my all time favorite places on earth, I've had a number of clients that uh, made a decision to purchase here. And you can see you've got some of these beautiful ocean front condominiums right here. There's three different rows, obviously, sort of front, middle, and back. But the cool thing about this resort is when you get to the back row, they're actually poised up super high, and so you get really unobstructed views. So you really can't go wrong whether you're on the front row or the back row. They all tend to have pretty unbelievable, spectacular ocean views. And of course, Kapalua Bay Villas also has tennis courts, multiple pools and hot tubs. And uh, there's some beach parking right there. So if you want to come down here and you're not staying in this area, you can just park your car right there where that guy's getting towed. Don't know why he's getting towed, but probably a breakdown would be my guess because they don't close the parking there, I think, until like 7 or 8 o'clock. But here I'm just going to show you how you can get to the next beach. And I'm sure Ironwoods is blowing up right now with some wave action too. There might be some guys out still surfing. I don't know. All right, here we go. Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. Bullet picking up all of the light, if you will. Uh, you know, all the light from the uh, aperture of the lens opening up as things get darker. I'm always amazed when I look at the camera picture quality. So you can see here is the one of the three pools right there. I'm just going to head down these stairs so I can get over to our lookout point here. All right. Jason, I know you're around here somewhere. I can sense your presence. All right, here we go, guys. Now right here below you can see that nature walk where these folks are walking. Wow. A little breezy right here. some of the biggest cliff water explosions I've seen. Wow. Let's go check out Ironwoods a little bit right around the corner here. Let me in the comment section if you've done this little trail walk before. Any tips for the viewers? You know, it goes all the way over to uh, DT Fleming's, and then you continue the walk right back to where Xterra does their races, and you can go way back into the West Maui Mountains from there. So I'm telling you, you can do some serious hiking on this island if you kind of know where to go. All right, guys, so here's that other beach I was telling you about called Iron Woods. Look at that big old chunk of beautiful sandy, white sandiness. And of course, those condos right there, those are called the Ironwood condos. Aloha Pete, if you're watching. Good point of mine, just uh, purchased a unit right there. I've been there on a day like this and got some epic shots. Aloha Karen. We wait every day of the year the cliff 
by the cliff house. We walk every day. Oh, nice. Look at the water explosions happening back here. Oh. And then they hit this wall over here. Watch where they hit this wall. Any surfers out there that are just kind of drooling right now, thinking about this big old giant swell? I know if I was in the mainland right now, sitting in a snowbank, this would be... I'd turn it off right about now. I'd be like, okay, that's enough. I'm going to go tune up my snowblower. <laughs> you leave me alone, Mr. Maui guy. Kind of a cool shot, right? Wow, that's nice. Are pets allowed at the Bay Villas? Uh, no. Unless you have the, uh, you know, certified dog service dog thing, which is not the emotional support dog. That's different. It's got to be a certified, cer uh, you know, certified as a service animal. And then you've got some federal laws, I think, protecting you. Just recently learned that. Thanks, Jason. But uh, technically, according to the HOA rules, the answer is no. But if you do have that service animal, you can pull it off. I meant the what? Hang on a sec. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. I visit Hawaii four to five times a year. And this, yeah, I don't know, you know, when I'm, when I'm reading the super chat, it just disappears. And between that and my eyes, I'm like, oh, Aloha from Santa Clara. Is that the Mendez Ranch? I don't think so. Love your videos, Eric. Thank you so much. Aloha, Nero. Thank you for tuning in, guys, as always. We got some drama happening back here. Look at this beautiful little Molokai stream of some kind of cloud, whatever. I don't know what that is. It just looks cool. It's a very dramatical kind of evening. The air is sort of heavy with energy. You know, it's probably the swell, but it could be what humanity is experiencing right now. I have no idea. But it's just cool. It's like Northern California kind of vibe right now, right? Is that you on the Jaja size thing? Yes, it is. You want to know why, guys? Just to settle this once and for all. I'm a big proponent of local businesses, as you know, right? I'm out shouting out businesses. So the gentleman that invented Jaja size asked me to do a testimonial. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I think something's cool and it works, I'm going to show it off. So I did. Unpaid, just as a friend, to a friend, to help him out. Anyone that innovates, and especially if you do it in the island of Maui or Hawaii, I'm here to help you out, support you any way I can, if I think it's a good product. So yes, I am the Jawser size guy. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon, for allowing me to download your product and for putting it out to 20 million people. Okay, uh, can't wait for June to come. We'll be there back soon. Aloha in the making. Armaro, thank you. Great father in the flesh. Right on. Can't wait to close in a new place. Kahoma Village, yeah. Thanks for all the keg work, you bet. Keg work, wow. I, yeah, I know you guys know I'm from Germany, but I, don't, I didn't think I drank that much beer. Just kidding, I gave it up. Had to watch the waistline. By the Mendez Ranch, where can you go horseback riding? Well, I know there's a horseback place in uh, Laniapoco. Uh, I think it's Lahaina Stables. You can rent a horse there. Go for one trail ride. How's it, Vancouver, aloha. How's home? thanks for checking in. Coming tomorrow, all right. Aloha, thank you for coming. Leg work, leg work, you're right, no keg work. Oh, was it, was it, did you mistype it or could I not see it? One of the two, I thought it was kind of funny. Aloha, Eric, what an awesome live. What an awesome live, you are having a surf advisory. Yes, super fun ways, I know. I wish I was out there, but it was a little too big. I picked the wrong spots tonight. Waiting on the Maui gym endorsement cash. Yeah, me too. Send it over, Maui Jim. Come on, man. Leg work. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, Scott. <laughs> what else we got here? Eating at Cheeseburgers in Paradise. The sunset was awesome. Thank you for all the Maui tips. My pleasure, Mike. Thank you for tuning in, as always. Thank you for coming to Maui. Aloha from cold Chicago. Oh, I'm just getting cold thinking about it, man. I used to live in Chi-Town. That's the coldest wind you'll ever find. Amazing life. Thank you. Beautiful scenery, thanks for the Maui fix, my pleasure. Totally wish we were there, 24 degrees in Arkansas. 
24 degrees in Arkansas? Dang! That's my Arkansas accent. A little bit of Texas, a little bit of Oklahoma, a little bit, a whole lot of Arkansas. Ironwoods, last time I surfed, 10 turtles, nice. Ruth Chris Steakhouse is pow. That's our Hawaiian word for the day, pow. I mean, done. What do you think about buying at Hanua Kai? Best ROI on Maui, hands down. Three in 31 in Alabama? 31 degrees in Bama? Dang, we're not in Bama anymore. I didn't know it got that cold in Alabama. Yeah, isn't this just spectacular, guys? I mean, look at that wave, holy buckets. That's nuts. Going skiing tomorrow, all right. Well, happy, happy, uh, you know, skiing. Uh, let's see here. Hi from Denmark, Copenhagen, Copenhagen. Yeah, I used to be in Norge. I like Copenhagen. You guys have some cool beaches, mainly because everyone's like half naked. I couldn't believe it when I went there. I was like, really? Clothing is that optional? Yep. I don't know if you guys still do that, but man, that kind of tripped me out a little bit. Being an American pilgrim, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, check it out over here. A little less light on this side. A nice little sprinkle is coming down. A little Hawaiian blessing is happening right now. Oh, love a little sprinkle in the face. Temperatures out here is perfect, man. I got board shorts on and a nice short sleeve shirt. And I'm just totally comfortable. Yeah, I mean, my blood's thin. In about uh, a few minutes, I'd probably get colder. Hope to see some what's on our visit. Hope to see some... Whales, yes, lol, great footage as always, waves, powerful blasting off the cliffs, yep, I know, isn't it gorgeous? And this is actually one of my most picturesque favorite spots to take photos. This is the bluest water right here because it's kind of deep, I think, I don't know, for some reason it's just blue when you take pictures right here. So cool, look at this wave show you guys are getting. Thanks for sharing, aloha, my pleasure. Thank you for watching, guys, as always. And as always, guys, you know me. I'm never going to forget. I'm never going to stop. I'll never drop the... Uh... Let's go. Here we go. Get some light. Let there be light. I will never drop. The MauiFoodBank.org. I'm from Minnesota, and it's way too cold here. I miss Maui so much. Can you please visit the Grand Wile? I'd love to. I'd love to go just hop in their pools. I'm just kidding. We would never do that, Grand Wile. Thanks, Eric. I feel better now. Good. I'm glad you got your fix, man. So, check this out, guys. The coolest news came in from one of you guys. I forget who it was. A couple days ago, this one, this was one of a viewer request. Okay. All right. So, check this out. As you guys know, right now, we have the Kapalua Golf Course, the Plantation uh, Century of Champions, Tournament of Champions, excuse me, happening right now. We have a little goal now, thanks to Eric buy at the Hanua Kai in 10 plus years. All right, 10 plus years. Oh, how much are they going to be then? Bitcoin, no, hey, so check it out. What was I saying? I got interrupted by that beautiful comment. Um, the, uh, what's it called? The uh, Tournament of Champions donated. Are you ready for this? I was getting I my, my glasses. They donated 250 grand to the MauiFoodBank.org. Now, I'm not saying I had anything to do with that. I'm just saying that is cool. Hey, Eric, Michael Barton, Dustin Barton's father. Dustin works at Hurley. Just giving you a shout out. Yes, Dustin. Is that Dustin's dad? Who's that? What's the connection there? I kind of read that too fast. Anyway, Aloha, shout out Dustin. Aloha, Hurley, as you guys know. Number one brand. And uh, I got some Vistla going on right there. You know, it's not always Hurley, but the board shorts are going. But hey, Thank you, shout out Major, whatever you guys can do to, to just thumbs up and go out there and tell Century Tournament Champions for giving a quarter million bucks to this beautiful little island, Maui Food Bank. That just warmed my heart, made my day. I'm so excited for that. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mahalo Nui Loa. So as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hanua Kai is amazing. I spent my 15th birthday there. Yes, this is Dustin's father. All right, Mike. He's a cool kid, man. I like Dustin's a good guy. Kid, I mean, he's like, what, 30-something, right? I guess that makes me really old. But anyway, what do you think of Wailuku Heights and a place to live? Epic. Yeah, Wailuku Heights, amazing. Beautiful views of, of Kahului and Wailuku. 250K, yes, Karen. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Kitty. As always, my daughter works, hang on, at Aina Cafe at Honua Kai. Great spot. Yeah, it's a great cafe, too, so. 
Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Sorry I haven't been going daily lately. I've just been covered up in work. It's just been nuts. But thank you guys for all the business. I appreciate it. In case I didn't mention, I'm a practicing real estate agent here, so keep me in mind if you're ever looking to buy, sell, and refer, just mm, never too busy to pay for my kid's college. Anyway, guys, thanks again. I appreciate it. Aloha. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Give to the MauiFoodBank.org and watch the Maui Food Line if can. If can. If no can, hey, no can. All right, guys, aloha. Till next time. Aloha, Dustin's father. Go Hurley. And thanks again, Mr. Whatever your name is there at the tournament, Century Tournament of the Champions for donating all that money. That is amazing. And all I got to say about that is, yes, sir.